All right, today we'll be talking about basic terms in Forex, okay, according to our topic. I want to talk about what is called PIP, P -I -P, PIP, uh, leverage, spread, not size, okay? And uh, possibly we we'll talk about risk management and also uh, um, how to create what we the broker, we the broker, all right? So, yesterday I told us about uh, currency pairs. Example, Euro, USD. I think uh, I rather do. Okay, can you see my screen? Can you see zero USD? Okay, maybe I should use a notepad rather. Let me use a notepad. Okay, then the notepad. Let me pull up my notepad. Can you see my notes first? We talk about currency, for example, Euro USD. Okay? And we say if Euro USD is 1.0974 or 76, it means that 1 Euro equals to 1.0976 US dollars. Now, today we are going to be talking about what we call PIP. PIP. PIP can also be called price in points. Price in points. I can define that moves in a currency pay. The smallest number that moves in a currency pair. The smallest number that moves in a currency pair. Example. Let's assume a uh, Euro USD changed in value from one point zero nine seven six. It changed to one point zero nine seven seven. The difference between this change is zero point zero 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 one. That means price of euro USD has increased by 0 0.0001. Do you agree with me? If we subtract 1.0976 from 1.0977, we're going to have 0 0.0001. If you agree with me, put 2 in the chat box. Put 2 in the chat box. But I'm Valentina, you can't hear me. Beautiful. So you can see that the change in this currency is 0.0001, and this can also be called one pip movement. That means this uh, currency pay have moved has moved by just one pip. Has moved by one pip. If you notice, 
uh, it is in four decimal places. Four decimal places, that's 0 0.0001. So that six and seven is one unit of a pip. You know, this is a movement in a pip. And this applies to all currency pairs aside from currency pairs that are at Japanese near. It applies. This four decimal places applies to all currency pairs except currencies paired with Japanese name that's JPY okay so if you see the country like USD JPY most of the time all JPY pairs the decimal place is in three places. It's something like 131.987. 131.987. So if this one moves by one pip, if it moves by one pip up or down, you can say maybe it has moved to become 131.986. That means it has dropped by one pip. Because if you subtract G, that will be having minus. Uh, zero, sorry, I'm going to be having, it dropped, so we're having 0 0.001. So, note, any currency pair that is paired with JPY carries three decimal places for the uh, value of PIP, while any currency pair that, um, any other currency pair has four decimal places. Now, let me give you a, a simple assignment, a simple assignment. If GBP, no, class of, I, I don't call it, it's not assignment. <laughs> so let's make it a class of. If GBP USD moves from 1.2344 to 1.2340, it drops back from 1.23. 442, 1.2340. How many pips? How many pips? Looking at the example here, that 0 0.0001 is equivalent to one pip. So if GPP moves from 1.23442 to 1.2340, how many pips drop is that? I want to put in the chat box. How many pips drop is that? I want the number of pips. I don't want the decimal value. I just want the number of pips. Okay, I'm waiting. So below that says four pips. Four pips. Okay, let's let's do the math. 1.2344 minus 1.2340 will give us 0 0.0004, which is equivalent to four pips. You are very, very good students. You are very, very good students. Okay, let's do another exercise. Uh, Euro AUD. Euro AUD moves from 1.0989 to 1. 1.0889. 1.0889. How many pips? How many pips do we have? How many pips of move of drop was that? Euro AUD drops from 1.0989 to 1.0889. How many pips drop? Is that? Let me see. Let me see. One pip drop. So we'll about say one pip drop. Look at it very well. Look at it very well. It's not one pip. One hundred pips. Violet says one hundred pips. That is very correct. It has dropped by one hundred pips because if you subtract it, you're having zero point zero one zero zero. That is one hundred pips, which is equivalent to one hundred pips. Very good. Very good student. Very good student.
All right. Last assignment. Last assignment. Last assignment. Last class work. If Euro JPY moves from one 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 point one 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 two to one 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 point one zero four. How many pips movement was this? How many pips movement did Euro JPY move? How many pips? Movement. Put in the chat box. How many people movement? Eight tips. Okay. Who else is giving it a try? Eight tips. So. 112 minus 104 is 8. Correct. 8 bits. So price has moved. Price has moved by 8 bits. Awesome. 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 Okay. So let's move up. And then move this up. Now. Let's now look at the value of pips. What is the value of pips? The value of pips is measured by what we call the lot size. The lot size. The value of pips is measured by what we call lot size. Lot size. It's measured by what we call lot size. And we have three types of lot sizes. We have three types of lot sizes. We have standard lots. We have mini lots. And we have micro lots. We have standard lots. We have mini lots. And we have micro lots. Okay? Now, I want you to follow me right now. Standard lots is 100,000 100, units of lot size. 100,000 units of lot size. If one lot size is 0 .00, 0 0.0001, example. Now let's look at this. If one lot, sorry, one pip equals to 0 0.0001, okay? I want to determine the size of 100,000. So if we multiply 100,000 with 0 0.0001, what will it be? I hope I have my mathematicians here. 100,000 times 0 0.0001. Equals to, put in the chat box. Put in the chat box. Is it getting big? Is it bigger than us? 0 0.001 times 100,000. Ah, this math is heavy. I'm waiting. Okay, without wasting time. This is how many decimal places? Four decimal places. One, two, three, four. We just move it by one, two, three, four. We'll be left with ten. 
the left with 10. So that is called the 10 US dollars. Okay? Because you know that this this 0.001 is in dollars. Okay? So when we have 100,000 of it, that's equals what? 10 dollars. So standard lot equals to 10 dollars. 10 dollars in size. 10 dollars in size. So the value of one standard lot, okay? Of one standard lot is is ten dollars okay and then the value of the lot is called one so one standard lot is ten dollars and it has one hundred thousand pips one hundred thousand pips so it's like one hundred thousand pips equal to ten dollars which is equal to one lot size okay now for mini lots mini lots Mini lot is 10,000 pips. Okay? So that would be how much. Now I've made it easy. How much would that, would that be? For the same places, we be left with what? One dollar. Okay? One dollar. And that is going to give us 0 0.1 lot size. Okay? And then the last is the micro lots. Micro lots. Micro lots as as a value of one thousand pips. It's going to give us we take it for the smart places. It's going to give us zero point one dollar, which is ten cents. Okay, ten cents. Which is equal to 0 0.01 lot size. Please write this somewhere. You will need it every time you are trading. Write it somewhere. You need it every time you are trading. Standard lot is 100,000 pips. Okay? Which is equal to $10. Now, you, if I. Okay, pip points. Let me call it pip points because so that I don't confuse you. Pip points. Pip points. And this is pip points. Okay. Now, is this clear? If it's clear, put three in the chat box. If this is clear, put three in the chat box. And then we'll see how it applies. Is this clear? Put in the chat box if this is clear. Standard lot, mini lot, micro lot. I'm waiting. Do we understand this? Standard lot, mini lot, micro lot. What you need to just know is that one standard lot is the value is ten dollars. Zero point one lot size. The value is one dollar and 0 0.01 lot size the value is 10 cents okay because when you are trading you are going to be trading with lot sizes the amount of lot size you decide to trade, trade with will determine the amount of uh, money you will also make in the currency market in the currency market i will explain for example uh euro usd You bought Euro USD at okay, let, let's write it like this. You bought Euro USD at one point zero eight zero two and it moved to one point zero nine zero two. First of all, how many pips at it moved. How many pips has it, has it moved? Put in the chat box. Okay, so we said 100. How many pips has it moved? How many pips? I want others to also answer. How many pips has it moved? I want to answer to come in sharp sharp so that we can 
can can will not uh, waste so much time. Beautiful. It has moved by 100 feet. It has moved by 100 feet. Okay. Now, this 100 feet. If you traded with standard lot, if you traded with standard lot, which is equivalent to ten dollars, it means that you will have made ten dollars times 100, which is equal to what? One thousand dollars. But if you traded with a mini lot, a mini lot, that means one pip, okay, one pip of of your trade is going to be one dollar, okay, one dollar. So times hundred pips. That means in the, in the same trade, you took the same trade, but in one of the trades you used a uh, standard lot. You made one thousand dollars. Another person traded with many lots, okay. He is going to make same trade. He's going to make one hundred dollars. What if you traded the micro lot? Put in the chat box. How much do you make? You traded the micro lot. How much will you make? That zero point one dollar. That's one cent times one hundred. How much would that be? That means you'll be making ten dollars. You'll be making ten dollars. Everybody traded same, trade the same euro USD at this price, and then price moved from 1.0802 to 1.0902. The first trader used standard lots. He made one thousand dollars. Same trade. Trader B used mini lots. He made one hundred dollars. Trader C used micro lots. He made ten dollars. All of them traded the same trade but because of the different uh, amount of um, lot sizes they use determines how much they will make now let me give you a, a little test here let me give you a little test here if the trader traded gbp usd at price 1.300 sorry 1.3010 and price moved to 1.3060 and the trader used two mini lots how much will the trader make? Oh yeah, two mini lots, and the price moved from 1.3010 to 1.3060. And if I use two mini lots, how much will the trader make? Will give me the answer quickly? In dollars, how much will the trader be making in dollars? Who is getting my? Who is getting it? Valentina, are you saying it's going to make? Okay, so we never said hundred dollars. That. We make hundred dollars. Is it hundred or hundred dollars? I can't see dollars in front of your answer. Okay. Is she correct? I want others to answer me. Is she correct? Is it hundred dollars? Valentina said fifty fifty. I don't understand. Is it fifty uh, is it fifty dollar, fifty dollar? Add it together now. So it's very simple. Two times one mini lot is one dollar. So two times one dollar makes it two dollars. Times 
how many pips did he make? That's 60 minus 10. Okay? He made 50 pips. Okay? He made 50 pips. So that would be equal to $100. Uh, some people came late into, into class. I hope you are following. Okay? I hope you are following. So you make 50 pips. That is $100. Now let's look at our chart. Let's look at our chart now and see how this applies. Let's look at chart and see how this applies. Okay. Uh, now this GBP USD. Price is currently at uh, 1.24099. Okay, and we want we have analyzed this trade. Okay, and we are seeing that price will come down to 1.24002. Okay, now where you want to place your trade, you are the one that is not going to determine how much lot size you are going to be using, and the value of lot size you will use depends on the amount of money that you are bringing to the market, that you are bringing to the market. For example, if you have $100, if you have $100, definitely you cannot use a uh, standard lot to trade because one pip move is going to take $10 from your money. So which means the market just needs to move by 10, 10 pips for you to lose the whole $100. So obviously you cannot use on um, one standard lot to trade a hundred dollar account, okay. But if you say for a hundred dollar, okay, I'm going to use a micro lot, so it makes more sense. Now, if you make a hundred pips from the trade, hundred times one micro lot is going to give you ten dollars. So that means on your hundred dollars, you are going to be making ten dollars. I'm going to be making ten dollars. So the amount of money you bring to the market, you know, will determine the kind of lot size that I'm going to use to trade and also determine the level of the profit you are going to watch, trade. If you are following me in the WhatsApp group, there was a time I sent a big, a big account and a small account. You know, a big account you are seeing like $500 profit, $100 profit. But on the small account, you'll be seeing $10, $20. It's because of the level of capital that you are bringing to the market. Okay, so it's very important your capital determines the amount of lot size that you are going to be bringing to the market. Now, another thing that you need to understand is the term called, we call leverage. Leverage. Let's go back to our notepad. I want to talk about leverage. Now, leverage is a borrowed fund. Leverage is a borrowed fund from a broker to use to trade. To use to trade more than your personal capital. Now, some of you, when you were filling your, your broker account, they ask you what amount of leverage you want. I have to take one to five hundred. One to five hundred simply means that if you bring hundred dollars, if you bring hundred dollars to the market, broker is going to give you as much as five hundred times of the money you bring. That means I'm going to be having about fifty thousand dollars actually to trade. This gives you opportunity to trade as many. Uh, as much as you can in the market. It gives you leverage. It gives that what we call it leverage. It gives you leverage to trade more than the amount of money that you have. That's why you can turn $100 to $500 to $1,000 in the market because of the leverage that the 
uh, broker gives to you. That the broker gives to you. So you have a buying power of about fifty thousand dollars in the market. Okay. Now, what does this mean? For example. With a hundred dollar account, you want to uh, use lot size. You want to use a mini lot that's uh, zero point one lots. You want to use lot zero point one, which means one dollar is how much? Sorry, I've even said this. <laughs> one one peep will give you one dollar. Okay, when you use a zero point one lot size, one peep will give you one dollar. Now, what they are saying is that if you decide to risk all of your account, your hundred dollar account. Okay, I want to risk all my hundred dollar account, and I want to make three times of my money. Okay, it simply means that instead of risking your own hundred dollars, eh, so with your own hundred dollars, you can be able to risk more than this hundred dollar in the market for you to make more money. For you to make more money, you can risk more than what you have to be able to make more money. However. The broker the broker will not allow you so I'm putting capital letter to lose their money because it's a borrowed fund. They will not allow you to lose their money. Eh? So if they give you money to trade, they will not allow you to lose your money. You can lose your own money. Now, what leverage does is it helps you to enter several trades at the same time. Now, imagine that you want to take five trades. Let's look at an example. Five trades. Yes, you can take five trades because you have leverage. Okay? You know that you have a hundred dollar account. Hundred dollar account. Where is hundred dollar? You have hundred dollar account. Now, you want to take five trades. You now decided on those five trades, you want to risk $20 per trade. $20 per trade. Now, if you risk $20 per trade, how much are you risking? You are risking hundred dollars. Now, leverage gives you ability even to trade this kind of trade. In fact, you can even take ten trades at twenty dollar risk per trade. As you want to risk twenty dollar per trade. But the problem is, you must win all these trades because let's assume you take five trades and the trade goes against you. That means with those five trades, if you lose them, you are losing that much. A hundred dollars, you have lost your own money. Your broker will just give you what we call a margin call. Give you what we call a margin call. A margin call. In fact, before your money even finish, eh, they will have stopped you from trading. They will just close all your trades. They only allow you to trade like 80 to 90 percent of your capital, okay, of your capital before they cut the trade. So it's very important that you don't use leverage anyhow. So rather than use mini mini mini, uh, mini lots, why not just use 0 0.01, which is what micro lots on those five trades. So if you are using 0 0.01 micro lot, that means you are going to be risking just two dollars, and if you even lose all of them, you are only going to be losing how much? 
ten dollars. So it's very important that you know how you use uh, leverage because the leverage will make I can see enter this street, I can see enter this street. You're not beginning to use big lot sizes, and then before you know it, that's how people blow their accounts in forex. That's how people blow their accounts in forex. Okay, do we understand this? Oh, I'm I'm already talking above your head. If you understand, write one. If you want me to go over it again, write two. If you understand, type one. If you want me to go over it again, type two. Okay, so we said two. Others understand this, right? Violet understands basically. All right, let me break it down a bit more. Let me break it down for that. Let me break it down for that. Okay, now your own margin that's your own money, it's called margin. Your own margin that's your capital is. $100. Broker gives you leverage of $50,000. That means you can trade as many, can trade more than your capital. Can trade more than your capital. Which means with $100, you can even trade uh, many lots. Let's say, if I say, you should trade one lot now. That one is not realistic. Because you trade one lot, it only takes 10 pips for you to lose your own money. Let's even say, okay, you can trade with many lots. A many lot is $1 per trade. Okay? One dollar per trade, which is 0 0.01 lot size. 0 0.01 lot size. Okay? Now, the question is, with this amount of money that you have, you can trade, can take 10 trades, even at $1 per day. Okay? But what is the risk there? Number one, when we trade, in forex, we must also tell uh, the when we are making an order. In the order, we must also write how much we want to risk on a particular trade. Okay, we we'll get to all that in risk management. So we must tell when you are placing an order. I'm going to show you all that on the chart. When you are placing on them, must tell how much you want to risk and what is your target profit. Okay, from your analysis. Now let's assume you are taking. 10 trades, and you want to risk $20 or $10 per trade. Let's say $10 per trade. What is the danger here? The danger is if you lose all your trades, you lose all your money. Because if you are taking 10 trades at $10 per trade, 10 times 10 is what? $100. Okay? 10 times 10 is $100. So simply, you take 10 trades with $1 per pip, and you are risking $10 per trade. All it takes is for the market to get against you, you are going to lose all your money. But the thing is, even before, you get to the point where you are losing all your money, the broker will have cut all your trade and give you what we call a margin call. They'll send you a mail. They call that mail margin call. What is see margin call? Some of us have seen margin call a lot of times in, uh, in our journey on, in Forex market. You just see email from broker that look, you're already using more than uh, your margin, the margin that you brought to the market. We can't lose our money. We may be forced to cut your trade if you lose further. You know, that's how the, the, the email will be like. That this trade that you are taking, if you lose further, 
you may be forced to cut your trade because you are already almost using up your own margin. So the money they gave you to be able to take the, all these uh, trades, you know, they will not allow you to lose it, though it's available for you to use. So how do you maximize your leverage? It's very simple. If I want to take 10 trades, why should I use mini lots? Why not use micro lots? Okay. So instead of risking $10 per trade, it means I'll be risking $1 per trade. So if I lose all my trades, I won't lose more than $10. I won't lose more than $10 of my account. Okay. So I still have $90 margin for me to play with. But if I win, I can win $10, $20. I can win more than what I'm risking. Because that is the whole point of trading. For you to risk a little amount to gain more than what you have risked. Okay. That is where you say you are making profit. So it's very important that you use your leverage wisely. So leverage is the money that the broker borrows you. Margin is your own money, your own money. Margin call is where you are almost using up your own uh, money. Okay. Uh, the broker is going to send you a mail that they are going to cut your trade. And then we've talked about PIP and we've talked about uh, lot sizes. Now let us go to the chart. I'm going to familiarize you with uh, the tool that we use in trading. And the tool we use in trading, the forest market, is called MetaTrader 4. MetaTrader 4. And that is the chart that you have been seeing. Okay? There are other tools that can be used. Okay? But the most popular one is the one that we are using that most brokers are going to be giving you. After you have registered with the broker, you can download the MetaTrader 4 from the broker from your broker account, from your broker. So this platform you are seeing here, you, can, you are seeing here is called the MetaTrader 4. It's called the MetaTrader 4, okay? So I want to familiarize you with this platform so that you know exactly how it works. So imagine you give it to USD, look at the little analysis we did, price has actually dropped to that point, okay? The price was here before, has dropped the which means if we are, if we are traded this, we'll have been making money. We'll come in here, we'll come out here, and we have made money. Okay? You can see, they said this market to come down, that just come down to that point, and we have made money. We just take our profit. Anyway, that's not what uh, we are looking at right now. But we are going to look at uh, what, how do you use this meta trader for? And I will try also and send you uh, a little short video on this particular meta trader. Okay, but before I continue, I would like to open the floor. Let's, let's see if you have one or two questions from what you have learned, and then I will come back to the lecture, and then we'll look at how you use this uh, platform for trading. Okay, so uh, I'm unmuting you guys. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. All right, let me have it. Uh, the margin call, I want to just be clear. You, you, you made us understand that the margin call is it's a call between we, the trader, we are the trader, we and the broker. Okay. <laughs> and Okay, Valentina, you are still saying something. Uh, uh, yes, I'm saying something. Is yeah. the call in function when we've exhausted our money or when we're about to exhaust our money? When and you're talking out. about... Okay. okay. No, finish up. Let me just get that. Okay, when you're, when, when you're in trade and the trade, you're losing your trade and you're about to finish your own part of the money. Like I said, Broker will give you money to trade, big money to trade, you know, bigger than the one you brought to the market. But they will not allow you to lose their own money because as they gave you, they want it back. They only gave you for you to be able to trade and make profit. It gives you the opportunity to make more profit than the money, than what your money itself can accommodate, okay? But if you use that leverage, 
to open more many positions than what your own money can accommodate. You must be sure you are going to win those trades. But if those things goes against you, once once your own money, okay, once the the the, the, the loss is getting to your amount, the amount that you brought to the market, they will send you a mail that look you are already about to finish your margin. If you continue to lose, we are going to be forced to close all the trades that you are in. Do you understand? So hmm. they are protecting their own money. You can lose your money, but you cannot lose their okay. own money. Do you understand? Okay, okay, understand. Let me ask another question quick. Okay. For a venture, I lose all my money yes. and they block my account. Is that all for yes. Forex for me? Ah, uh, if you lose all your money, well, we have lost money many times in this journey of forex. But now okay. you have lost money, so you fund again now. I will refund. I will fund again. Now, let yes, me ask another again. question. Let me, I want to ask yeah. a practical question. Okay, yes. what if okay? I'm trading. I'm trading for two hundred fifty fifty dollars. Okay. How much will uh, how much be my leverage? How much you broke out to my two hundred fifty Dollars. You have already picked the leverage when you are opening your account. I told you to pick one to five hundred. Okay. One yes. To, yes. Yes. One to five hundred. Okay. That's the okay. maximum leverage that the broker can give you. Okay. okay. Which means with your two fifty dollar, you can trade up to you can make up to fifty thousand dollars, even more than that. You understand? You can make more money okay. than. The little money you are bringing to the market, you just you know, that's why you call it leverage. Give you to be to open more position that can give you money. If you are a good forex trader, that is and that's the point of all this training. If you're a good forex trader, you can really leverage to pay you because when you are sure of profiting in all your trades, then you can maximize the leverage and make as much as you can and just be milking the market. Okay, but if you are just if you don't have the knowledge. You don't get the knowledge that like you are getting the knowledge now, then there's every possibility that you be losing your money. Now, the mistake that we have made in our journey is what we are helping you not to make. That's why we are, we, are, we are organizing a training like this so that you'll be proficient by the time you come in with your money into the market. You know what you are doing, not that you are just uh, speculating or somebody is just uh, giving you a signal, just putting it and losing your money. Okay, you know yourself why you are taking a trip. You know your analysis. You know the reason. You can give strong reasons why you took that trip. Like even if you lose it, you know it's not because your analysis was wrong, or because maybe something something happened, mm -hmm. maybe in the economy or something. You understand? I understand, Mister Adolf. I will not lose trade. I will not lose any trade. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> You in, in, in forex you lose some, you gain some. The most important mm -hmm. is that your gain should be more than your loss. I will not lie to you; it's not possible for you not to lose in forex. Yeah, okay. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Does anybody else have a question? Put the chat box. Let me see if you have any question before I go to the meta trader form. Just put in the chat box if you have a question. Okay, let's 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 proceed then. All right, let's look at wow this trade is tempting me Before we finish this class, it's only for this market to get to this class. Okay, now this is what we call the 
uh, MetaTrader 4, like I said. MetaTrader 4, okay? Now, to my left here, you can see all the currency pairs. We call this area the market watch. The market watch. This is where you see all the currency pairs. Okay? All the currency pairs. And then, here you have what we call the bid and the ask price. The bid and the ask price. Now, the bid means this is the price that you want to bid, but this is the price that uh, the broker wants to offer you. Okay, just like in business, you, have, you are bidding for something, and then the person that is going to give you that is asking you for this. Okay, so this is the price, current price of the market. Why this is what the broker is asking you to pay. He's asking you to pay for to pay. So bid is the current price of the market. Ask is the price that you are going to actually drop. Okay, and here is what we call the spread. Spread. Spread is the difference between the bid and the ask price. And that this is the money the broker will take from you. Okay? This is the money the broker will take for once I enter a trade, bam, like this. It's the first they will first take this money from you. So if you now win your the trade, good and fine. If you lose the trade, good and fine. You already have paid this spread. This spread is in pips. Like I've seen 24 here, it means 2.4 pips. 2.8 changes every minute, every second, depending on the condition of the market. Depending on the condition of, of the market, okay? So you can see 2.8, 2, 26, 29. So 2, 20, 26 is 2.6 pips. So you can see this one is 45, that's 4.5 pips. This is um, 35, is, uh, 20, 35, 36, 37, all right? So this is the amount of money, which means if I enter the market, that's zero USD. Okay. If I place a trade right now, I am going to pay the uh, the broker the value of 2.6 pips. Which means if I'm going to use one standard loss, broker is going to collect 2.6 pips. That's about $20 I'm going to pay to the broker. If I'm using a micro loss, that's 0 0.01. It means on two pips, I'm just going to be paying uh, 20 cents. 20 cents to the broker. If I'm using a mini lot, which is one one dollar per pip, I'm going to be paying about uh, two dollars something to to broke to the broker first. That's their commission. This is where they make their own money. Okay, that's the commission. That's why they give you this platform. They give you access to this platform. So this is where they make their own money. So once you place a trade once like this, they make money. Now this is where you see the price. This is a chart where you see the movement of price in the market. This is a chart where you see the movement of price in the market. Okay, and this chart can be divided into different time frames. Time frames. At the top here you will see different time frames. You have minutes, this is one minute, this is five minutes, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes, one hour, four hours, daily, weekly and monthly. What does this mean? Currently we're on fifteen minutes. It means that it takes fifteen minutes as you can see, it's 10, 8, 10 p.m. now. It takes 15 minutes for this particular candle to form. Each of these candles you see on this chart, it takes 15 minutes for them to form. Okay? 30 minutes on 30 minutes time frame. Each of these candles forms in 30 minutes. For one hour, each of these candles you are seeing forms in one hour. In four hours, each of these candles that you are seeing forms in one hour. This one, it takes a whole day. As you can see, a new day has started. Now, at 10 o'clock Nigerian time, that is when uh, we have to enter a new day on the forex market. So as it is now, we have entered tomorrow on the forex market. Because some people um, already have uh, in tomorrow. So by now, we have entered a new day. You can see we are on a daily chart, and we are seeing a new candle just forming. So from 10 p.m., to 10 p.m. we have a whole day in the forex market currently okay so we have a new day now so as it is now uh forex has entered friday uh, sorry today is wednesday what is today So we have the weekly time frame. That means it takes 
a whole week for each of these candles you are seeing to form a whole solid week. And then we have the monthly time frame. Okay? We have the monthly time frame. And then we have what we call the uh, these lines I just brought up. These are the period separator. Period separator. Period separator. It divides the, the time frame into uh, different periods. For example, between each of these periods of the monthly time frame is one whole year. So you see between this period and this period, you see 12 candles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is one whole year. That you can see this is February 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Now we are in 2020 and we are in the fourth month, which is just uh, which we can see right here when right? the fourth month. So but on the daily time frame you count twenty how I many that should be about twenty candles because the market is closed on weekends but open during the week. So we have five working days per week. So we need twenty candles. If you count these candles, each of them is twenty candles in a month. That's for the daily time frame. And then for the hour time frame is divided into days. The four hours are divided into weeks. So these are 24 hours. So each one of these forms is 24 hours. If you count these candles, they will be 24 in number. As you can see, the new day has started. If I expand this, you see something green. Green right there is already formed. That's the new day. So we have entered a new day in the Forex market right now. Okay? I will not be able to complete the description of this uh, platform today but uh, i'll try and uh, i will get into some level and then uh, tomorrow we'll start from there because our time is already uh part gone all right we have tools at the top that i can use to uh zoom in and zoom out okay all this will we'll look at it from tomorrow we'll look at it from tomorrow okay if i want to place order maybe enter this market we have what we use to enter the market so all these are going to be looking at with time how you enter the market this is where you choose the lot size you want to use as you can see this is a micro lot this is a standard lot if you put one that means you want to trade with one standard lot if you put 0 0.01 it means you are trading with what uh micro lot okay you can also type in how much lot you want to use i want to use 0 0.2 that means i'm using two mini lots Two mini lots. That means per pip I want to earn two dollars. Or if it is 0 0.1 per pip I want to earn one dollar. If it's 0 0.01 per pip I want to earn ten cents. If it is one per pip I want to earn ten dollars. Okay. So that is um. So once you put all the parameters which are to be will be looking at, then we we'll place buy or sell, and then it will take us into the market. But we are not doing that right now. Okay. Uh. So that is that is where we'll stop for today. Tomorrow we'll continue from the meta to the four. Do we have anybody that have a question? I think I missed a question above. Somebody said something.